Okay, so first of all, I'll type equals expand. Then I want the array to be the number one. I want the number of rows to also be the number one. Then I want the number of columns to be the number of times that I want the range to repeat. So that's the number three in my case. And then I want pad width to also be the number one. And I get an array of ones going across three columns. Then I will take the range that I want to repeat and use an AND symbol to join it to the array that I just made. And this gets me a grid of values. Then, in order to remove the number ones, I need to change the array so that it is completely empty. And in order to do that, I need two quotation marks with nothing in between. Then I also need to change pad width to be two quotation marks as well. And then we end up with an array that is completely empty. We can't see it, but it is still there. And we get my range of values repeating three times. I want for this to all be in one column. So next I will use the to col function. And this will be the array here. And that will put everything into one column. Now this isn't the order that I want, so in order to change the order, I need to edit this. I don't care about ignoring values, so I'll skip that. And I need to change scan by column to be true. So I'll put two commas in here and then put in the number one for true scan by column. And the formula will see the number one as being equal to true and enter. And now I get the result that I want. So then I'll combine these formulas together. So I'll copy all of this and paste it inside of the two col formula. Then I will copy the expand formula and also paste that inside of the two col formula. And now I have one formula that is linked to two things the range that I want to repeat, and the number of times that I want to repeat it. Now there's also another way of doing this, so I'll delete all of this, and this time I'll start with the sequence formula. I want the number of rows to be one, and I want the number of columns to be the number of times that I want the range to repeat, so that's three in my case, and then enter. And I get a sequence of numbers going from one to three across the columns. Then I'll use an if formula. And the logical test will be the sequence of numbers that I just made. And the value if true will be the range that I want to repeat. And this gets me the range repeating three times. And this works because the if formula will see any number as being equal to true except for zero. So if I edit the sequence formula here to start at minus one, you'll see that the if formula interprets minus one as being true and I get my range of values. But the if formula sees zero as being equal to false, so I get a bunch of falses here. And then the if formula sees one as being equal to true, so I get my range of values again. So it doesn't matter what numbers you have in the sequence formula. I can change the step here to be zero, and then I just get the number one repeating. But so long as these numbers here are not zero, the if formula will see them as true and will get the range of values repeating. And then the next part is the same as it was before. We'll use the to col function, and this here will be the array. Then I need to change it to be one, and the formula will see this as true scan by column and enter. And then I get the same results as I did before. Then we can combine these formulas together. So I'll copy the if formula here and then paste it in here and then I'll copy the sequence formula here and paste it in here as well 
And then we have one formula which is linked to two things. The range that I want to repeat and the number of times that I want for it to repeat. And now I have two formulas here that are both doing the same thing. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to get a range to repeat multiple times using a formula in Excel and that is everything.